long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wandcroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand attention warners I am the queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the queen's dream palace for the rest of my- uh! Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <laughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! Hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Ha <laughs> 
Gundam rules! Gundam rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Ah, uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. Works for us. Nice work, buddy. All the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to them, ensure that you are feeling Correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true eyes has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that today her representative. Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace. Well, it was said all dreams came true, but Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters, 200 years ago. He ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen, and she had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy, the physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late, or was it very early, and even didn't want to wake her parents. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories, or at least that's what she told herself. same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. figure 
seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, sweet summer mud cake. I miss her too, child. But she's gone now. Ah. That spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even. Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the spot. Smooth going, Burn. But it wasn't my... I mean, you're the one who... Aw, uh, oh, I guess you're right, Lucky. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs, even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... You meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about her wanna? Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Even. Hey, shut up!
she knew this was, if not goodbye, then at least so long, and even knew if she hesitated, if she woke her parents and spoke to them directly, she'd never go, and so she left without knocking. Even again considered knocking, and again told herself she couldn't risk it, she left without knocking. Cannot stress this enough, even wouldn't knock on that door. No, even considered knocking, really considered it. Considered it as fully as it is possible to consider anything, and decided against it. Her fate was elsewhere. Not gonna knock, even said to herself under her breath. So I'd better go obsessively focus on something else. Anything else. Okay, okay, fine. Do you know what? Fine. Even knocked. But her parents didn't even wake up. Oh well, she thought, and then turned away from the door. like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? She's in the Queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. You can't be here, little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a very important job. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Uh, the, the loading of junk onto boots. Clearly, all day long, and all year long, and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. Ah, the very idea that the Queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. 
I'm uh, just not willing to share them. Ha! Ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should entrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to, with you. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Spirit wanted? It seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. From home and all alone. You're lucky the Queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death, you just go along with her. Because you know a rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. You can't escape her, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known.
Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Oh, it must be so wonderful there. Be recognized as the best of us. <laughs> I hear everyone works so hard there. It's where the magical cards used to be made, you know. Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now, though, after the Queen ruined it trying to find those <coughs> awful rebels, it's so dreadful there. The glory of battle, yours for the taking. I could be a hero. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... two-sided. I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the Queen came and made me rule. Rolled myself a one. She told me I was born in the wrong town, and now I'm here. And I'll... Never get back there again. That's just the way things are. In a way, she saved me from the misery of Forberg. It's not what it used to be. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. Before she... And before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways. And it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice. Knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh. <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. <laughs> I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
Stephen could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull beckoning towards something new. some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, suit yourself, missy. I ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Oh, but before you go, a word of warning. Be careful out there, Macy. Tonight's the night the junk collectors come. His boats are here, and the guards over there don't let nobody close. The harbor's hiding secrets tonight, Macy. Oh, they load up the boats with junk and take it to other areas around them. Though what for, I can't rightly say. Nobody who knows is willing to say. And nobody else can see for themselves. Everyone just keeps their heads down and does their job. Except for me. I don't do any of it. I'll never work for that rotten queen. This is safe travels. A long time ago in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything. Wondering what to wear, what to create, who to become. Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. A long time ago in random.
When they were ready, or when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure, making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber, my realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful, like my room here. I. I. Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Oh, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Fine. You little... Little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. You regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. Shh, shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three.
Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's the deal. I'm off to find Miss Hutton, see? I'm headed for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the Queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing! Just... Just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Everything's better with tea. Tea fixes everything, Even. Listen to your mother, Even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, Even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, Even. We'll always be here, Even. You'll always be her, Even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. They... they were denying you your future, robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no. This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Take one of these bad boys! <laughs> the 
Alice even lost sight of Herman. She realized she had also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. Oh, where is this place? 